Hey guys, it's Tazana here. Today we're going to make a simple recipe which is potato crispy chips and it's very simple to make, very delicious. So please stick to the end to watch everything and how it's done. So let's begin. We'll be needing 8 potatoes. So I will start by peeling the potatoes. So after peeling the potatoes, I make sure I wash the potatoes very well with water. So after washing the potatoes, I cut them into small pieces like this because I'm going to boil them and I would want them to boil faster. If I boil them big like that, they won't boil faster. Pieces, I place them in a saucepan and add some water. I will add a teaspoon of salt to a saucepan that contains the water and so juice. I'll check the saucepan very well and set for the potatoes is completely soft now, so I place it in a different bowl. You can wait for it to cool down before you place it into a different bowl, but then I decided to do it this way. So right now, I mash the potatoes. You can wait for the potatoes to cool down completely before you mash it, so you can mash it now. So after I'm done mashing the potatoes, I add a half cup of corn flour into the mashed potatoes. I add it twice. I then add a teaspoon of salt to taste. I also add half teaspoon of maggie. I also add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And the ultimate spice that you can't do without Kibo hot pepper. I add two teaspoons of Kibo hot pepper, which gives the potato a hot and chili filling or taste. I 
this is also an important step you have to add some scallions to the recipe because it's going to give it a sharp yet spicy and fruity flavor so i cut some scallions into the mixture you can add any amount that suits you After you're done cutting your scallions into the mixture, you have to add two large eggs into the mixture. Two large, not medium, but large eggs into the mixture. The tea is exceptionally good today. So I'm done adding the spices and every ingredient and let's add the mashed potato. So now I'm going to start blending everything together with my hand. First, I wash my hand very well before I start this procedure. So you're going to combine everything together slowly, taking your time, making sure all the spices are well combined and well mixed. And it was never your fault, wish there was something to to put the mixture into a piping bag but then I forgot to get some so I'm going to use a ziplock bag so I'll place all the mixture inside and maybe I'll be moving on And I think it should be something I don't wanna hold back Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you And she likes everyone And I never like to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know so I'm making this recipe today which is Saturday and I would like to have it tomorrow morning on Sunday before I go to church so I am prepping it this way so that I can put it in the fridge and then tomorrow I deal with it. But when you told me that you hated my friends The only problem was with you and not them so you can store it in the fridge ideally for about three days before frying or you can fry immediately so this is what i'm gonna do cut a little bit of the base a tiny bit so I'm trying to cut the blades to pipe into the hot oil, but then I'm trying to make sure I don't cut it too big. Oh, I cut it too big. But it's fine. So this is how I'm going to pipe it into the hot oil. So the oil is hot and you can hear the sound and this is how I'm going to pipe it and I cut with the scissors, I pipe, I cut with the scissors, I pipe, I cut with the scissors. So this is how I'm going to do for each potato that comes out from the zip drop bag. Pipe it and I cut it onto the hot oil. So at this time, you should take your time because you wouldn't want the oil to splash. <laughs> 
over your face You're my sweetest addiction You're my strongest inspiration And I love you It's true There's no mountain I could not climb As long as you are mine And I thank you So we are going to allow it to fry until it's golden brown Or your bread Ooh. <laughs> but I prefer golden brown so it's ready now and it smells so good oh my god it smells so good and it looks so attractive and so delicious and crispy so if you want to do this for like small children or kids you would have to reduce the pepper the um, chili pepper and maybe you have to reduce the scallions so it's not so sharp for them to not eat because you know they don't children don't like purple stuff so try this recipe and let me know what you think thanks for watching you're my sweetest addiction you're my strongest